Hello and welcome. Today we shall be taking a look at litigation finance group Burford Capital PLC. The company has a market capital of £3.38 billion and with a recent drop in share price of ASOS and Fevertree PLC, it's now the largest company in the UK FTSE Alternative Investment Market Index. In the financial year to June 2017, Burford had a turnover of £267 million and an operating profit before tax of £194 million, which gave it a margin of 72.7%. It currently pays an annual dividend yield of 0.65%, which is paid semi-annually in June and December. This dividend is covered 10.9 times by the earnings per share. The company was founded in 2009 by Christopher Bogart and Jonathan Mullott and floated on AIM in October of that year. Christopher Bogart has served as CEO and Jonathan Mullott has served as Chief Investment Officer since the first inception and each have a shareholding of around 4%. Previously, Christopher Bogart was at Time Warner, the media and entertainment business and managing director at Clenevy Capital from June 2003. Burford Capital is the world's largest publicly traded provider of specialised finance to the legal market. It operates as a finance and professional service company worldwide, with principal offices in New York, London and Chicago. The company offers financing to lawyers and clients engaged in litigation and arbitration, asset recovery and other legal finance and advisory activities. Burford made £1.34 billion of investment commitments during 2017, which included single case finance was 5.4%. This is the financing of costs for pursuing a single litigation claim. Portfolio finance was 54%. This is the financing of cross collateralized pool of clients' litigation claims. Recourse finance was 35.4%. This is investments where Burford would not expect to suffer a complete loss upon failure of the claim. Legal risk management was 5.2%. This is providing some form of legal risk arrangements pursuant to which Burford does not generally expect to deploy capital. For the previous five years, Burford Capital has had a year-on-year -year increasing revenue of £47 million to £276 million and an improving operating profit margin ranging from 3.5% to 72.7%, which gave it an average of 66.4%. The forecast for next year is a revenue of around £230 million and a margin of 71.8%, but the 2018 H1 results in July indicated this revenue could be higher. With generated earnings climbing in the previous five years, from 9.8 pence in 2013 to 93.9 pence per share in 2017, the dividend has always been well covered since 2013 by at least 2.5 times the earnings per share. Burford Capital has a share price beta the same volatility as the FTSE AIM. With the share price rising from 1100 in January to over 2000 pence in September, the standard deviation for 2018 was 289 compared to 51 for the FTSE AIM. The current share price has dropped in recent months but is still 50.6% above the 52 week intraday low. The H1 results announced at the end of July stated that income was up 17% and operating profit was up 18% on the 2017 H1 results. Sir Peter Middleton, chairman of Burford, commented, Burford has experienced another stellar half year, setting new records for income and profit. Burford has taken some steps towards greater activity in Australia, which is a particular tidious market. Burford's first case was in the last few months, for a large shareholder claim against one of Australia's major financial services firms, AMP. This news was well received by the market. In early October, the proposed placing with institutional shareholders of up to approximately 10.4 million new ordinary shares as part of a broader business and capital structure expansion caused a fall in the share price on the day of 7.8%. The securing of funding for $1.6 billion in December 
for new litigation investments by entering into a strategic capital relationship with a long-term sovereign investor and was well received by the market. The 2018 full year results shall be announced on the 13th of March. With a new cash injection from a long-term sovereign investor, the entering into new territories and the recent drop in share price, the price earnings ratio is now at an attractive 16.5. This is considered low for a growth company with a profit margin of over 70% and a return on capital employed of 17.5%. Burford is run by former lawyers who know legal cases very well and have a proven track record of selecting legal cases with a low level of risk. The competition remains weak for now, but if others can raise capital, it will heat up. For these reasons, I have given Burford Capital an overall rating of 4.3 out of 5. Thank you for watching, please leave comments below and also like and subscribe for further analysis of UK company businesses.